Millets are wonderful. They are the indigenous grains of India. And today we are going to use foxtail millet, which looks like this. These are part of the little millets. We also have the major millet. So this is one of the little millets. And what we have done is we've soaked this. Needs to be soaked for about half an hour in double the water. And we are just going to cook it. And once it comes to boil, you need to let it simmer for about 10 minutes till all the water has evaporated. So let's check on our millets. Wow, they are nearly done. When you see these little holes, they are caused by the bubbles and that shows that the water has all evaporated. So our millets are ready. I'm going to switch it off and uh, let it rest in its own steam for a little bit. And meanwhile, I'm going to show you how to make an upma out of these millets, the Indian version. And later we will be doing a millet salad, the Western version with the same cooked millets. So we are now going to put in some of the onions. And once again, we just fry them, steam fry them without any oil. And just move it till it's a little brown. We can also put in a little bit of ginger here. If you want, you can also use some of the dry spices. I'm not using any here today. So now they're getting nice and brown. Just turn the gas to a little lower. And let's just go for the beans. First, the carrot, the tomatoes, which will leave their own water. If you feel that your vegetables are sticking to the bottom, then you can just add a couple of tablespoons of water. We're just going to let this cook for a couple of minutes. They are nicely done. We don't want them to be overdone. So I'm now going to add in the salt. We're just going to add in some of the cooked millets and try to keep the vegetables equal or more so that you get a lot of these nutritious vegetables in. 